Hey guys, this is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to clear up some confusion about Reaper 5. These are some frequently asked questions that I've seen over the past month about Reaper 5. Do I need to uninstall Reaper 4 before installing 5? No, you don't have to. You can just run the installer for 5 and it will do its thing and you'll be upgraded. Can I have Reaper 4 and 5 installed at the same time? Yes, you can. On the Mac, it's as simple as renaming version 4, installing version 5, and then you have both of them. You also have the option of doing a portable install on the Mac and PC. If you go to the Reaper website, click on Videos, and click on Creating a Portable Install of Reaper, you'll see a tutorial from Kenny Joya that explains how to do the portable install. Do I need to buy a new license? If you're upgrading, it may or may not be a paid update. It really depends on when you last bought Reaper. If you bought it during the version 3 cycle, you had all of version 3, all of version 4, and now at 5.0, you need to buy a new Reaper license. If you purchased it anytime during the version 4 cycle, you have all of version 5, and you'll have to buy an upgrade at version 6. If you just bought a version 5 license, uh, that means you are good until version 7. Just to put that into context of years, if you purchased version 3, that means you had about six years of use. Is there an upgrade price? No, there's not. Pay your $60 or your $225, depending on the license that applies to you, and that lasts you two full versions, and then you buy a new one. All right, so let's get into Reaper and look at some usage things that have changed or people have been confused about that I've seen. So the first thing is uh, the mouse wheel over the faders. The default has changed. In version 4, you could move your mouse wheel, and it will move your faders up and down. So this changed, and the defaults are here. Editing behavior mouse. It's this checkbox here. Ignore mouse wheel on faders. There's a couple other options here that you may want to experiment with, find the best option. If you just click uh, OK there, and now the mouse wheel moves the faders on the TCP and the MCP. Another thing that I've seen that has been confusing people is the monitor enable button is kind of hidden in the default track height. So uh, you've got record enable, you've got your volume, routing, panning, mute solo, effects bypass, and polarity invert, but where is the monitor enable? You need to change the track height. Here's the record monitoring button. Here is your recording modes, uh, recording input, recording output, recording MIDI. And here is the tracks inputs. If you do want to have your tracks really small, you can right click on the record enable button. You have your different uh, monitoring modes, you have your recording modes, and you have all of your inputs. Where is the old theme? Reaper 5 came with a new theme not everyone likes it. If you want to go back to the version 4 theme, go to Options, Themes, and choose Default 4. Where are the theme configuration preferences? The theme configuration window used to be part of the preferences. Now it's available through the action list as a separate window. If you open up the action list with the question mark key and just type in theme, theme development, show, theme, tweak, configuration window, run this. And here you can modify all the colors and fonts in your theme. If you're using this window a lot, you can add a keyboard shortcut to it, or you can add it to a toolbar if you want. If you simply don't like this theme and you don't want to go back to the version 4 theme, there's tons of themes available on the Reaper website. Click on Resources and Themes. Brings up the Reaper stash, and you've got tons of different ones. I recommend the Default 5 Nitpicky Edition because it contains a lot of the features that people have been asking about changing, and the users have made this a pretty cool theme. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials.